According to a royal specialist, the Prince of Wales's deafening silence on the subject has put a tremendous strain on the Duke of Sussex's relationship with him. The difficult brother of the Prince of Wales and the weary father of the king are just two members of the royal family with whom the Duke has been forthright about his opinions. The Sussexes, a Netflix documentary series, as well as the Duke of Sussex's autobiography Spare, and a slew of TV interviews have leaked shocking details about private family moments and heated arguments. There have been several controversies, including arguments between the Duchess of Sussex and Princess of Wales, over topics as diverse as lip gloss and baby brain remarks. The Prince of Wales allegedly knocked the Duke of Sussex to the floor in 2019 during an altercation involving the Duchess, according to the Duke of Sussex. They say the older prince used terms like difficult, rude, and abrasive to describe the Duchess. According to the Duke, a lot more was whispered. In an interview with The Telegraph, he explained that he had redacted a lot of material in order to shield his parents and brother from harm. You could say it was two novels, he said. And removing stuff was the tough part. I simply do not want the public to be apprised of some events that have transpired, particularly those involving my brother and, to a lesser degree, my father. For the simple reason that I doubt they could ever forgive me. According to royal analyst Tom Quinn, who spoke to The Mirror UK, the relationship between the brothers is quite tense. The Duke's visit to the UK has done nothing to repair royal relations, the Duke has been very publicly snubbed by his father and brother, Quinn said. Nothing is said by the Prince of Wales. As though the Duke had vanished into thin air. Neither side has made any glaring criticisms, but the Prince of Wales's silence is absolutely crushing. Due to the monarch's full schedule, the Duke of Sussex did not meet with the King during his brief visit to the UK for the Invictus Games in early May. Nevertheless, subsequent accounts indicated that the king had extended an invitation to his son to remain, with the hope of spending some quality time together. Nonetheless, the duke opted to get a hotel room instead. The tremendous media monitoring of the king and the duke's connection made him understandably wary about meeting the duke, according to a royal friend. According to the source who spoke with the Times, it's all very sad. The king's reluctance to meet with the duke is understandable, considering the media frenzy that always appears to accompany their trips. Nevertheless, he did consent to see his son at the most vulnerable point of his illness, in February, and on short notice. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you soon.